With only two staff members, Bathurst Local Aboriginal Land Council is a community leader in the region, taking a leading role in providing essential social services and using land and Wiradjuri culture to improve people's lives. Under the leadership of Chief Executive Officer Tony Lee Scott, Bathurst Local Aboriginal Land Council is the driving force behind the city's food bank, is heavily involved in the innovative Girawa Arts Centre at Bathurst Correctional Centre and operates a homeless shelter. So the food bank was uh, originally um, at our Lauk office on a small scale and I thought I would like it to succeed on a bigger scale to incorporate the whole community, not just Indigenous participants. Uh, so we looked into the Bath City Community Club as a partner. To date, they have 400 um, registered members that access um, the food bank on a Thursday, um, where items may cost less than a dollar. And that's been going now for over a year. There's fresh fruit, veg, uh, bread, um, for when people came, come in to use uh, food bank which is a great in initiative. We have many volunteers that offer their services. It's very rewarding for them. I see it as it, it's, it's a hand up for the community, not a hand out. You know, whether you're homeless and living on the street, you can always come in and we're there to help you. One of the enduring partnerships the Bathurst Local Aboriginal Land Council has been involved in is the Correctional Centre's Girawa Arts Project. So the Girawa provides inmates with art experience, sandblasting, framing, uh, living skills, um, shirt prints, anything you can think of. If it's paintable, designable, they'll put it. Um, it's an initiative from them to, to be able to participate before their release and once they're released they get release packs, which is canvas paints and brushes um, and a portfolio of their art that they've done in, within the jail. So it's an incentive for them. Uh, they're doing their artwork, but also they get commissioned to do their art and get paid for it as well. But it's very important for the inmates when they're released. Um, it gives them the extra skills for when they're out there. As you spoke to Martin today, you know, he was in the mines, but he's, he bunged his leg up and he, he can't work again. And he's looking into doing framing when he gets out because it's something that he enjoys doing and it's easier for him to stand there for a couple of hours and do a frame rather than go into full hard labour work, which he's unable to do. Through the Lauk's partnership with the Bathurst Correctional Centre, Inmates have also been helping Care for Country, helping return 135 acres of land at Wailu Gamara, a men's initiation site at the top of the mountain. They love it. It's just getting back into country and just it's just the tranquility and the blissfulness of being... I know that it's an in-town uh, block, but you just feel like you're away from everything. A number of endangered species inhabit Wailu Gamara, including the albino wallaroo. It's quite significant and hopefully we'll just keep trying to um, put in grants to, to make an educational facility for children across the state or across Australia to come and visit. The vision is to do educational tours, um, to teach people about Aboriginal culture. So yeah, so it's a it's a big a big project, but we'll eventually get there. <laughs>